joined by Mr. Shikata, who is the Cabinet Secretary from the PMO's Office of Japan. Uh, many thanks for joining in on CNN News 18, Mr. Shikata. It's an important, incredible year for Asia, considering uh, Japan is chairing G7, India, G20. What are your thoughts? How can the two work together to mutually resolve um, a, a very divided geopolitical climate? Of course, uh, Prime Minister Kishida and Prime Minister Modi have been working very close, uh, closely together. Uh, Prime Minister Modi attended the G7 Hiroshima summit. And before G7 Hiroshima summit, Prime Minister uh, Kishida came to Delhi in March this year. So we are uh, collaborating very closely uh, between uh, G7 presidency and G20 uh, presidency. And Prime Minister Kishida is looking forward to contributing to the success of uh, G20 uh, summit in India. Absolutely, and it's interesting that you're talking about how closely the two countries have been working together. In fact, in news that's just coming in, um, there's in fact input coming in that uh, India has managed to get the Delhi Declaration through. Uh, how closely has Japan worked on this Delhi Declaration with India to ensure that all parties are on the same page, even the ones who were expected to sort of pose a hurdle? Mm -hmm. We commend the efforts of the uh, Indian government, uh, led by Prime Minister Modi, uh, to generate a positive outcome of uh, G20 summit. And uh, Japan has all, uh, also been very proactive in supporting uh, G20 presidency as, uh, of uh, India. So hopefully uh, this would uh, solidify our further cooperation toward the future. Absolutely. And, and, and when we talk about the issues that are burgeoning the geopolitical climate, apart from the war in Ukraine, Mr. Shikata, there's also the issue of the Indo-Pacific. All the member nations of the Quad happen to be here at the G20. Uh, how can uh, now G20 as a multilateral uh, platform help in pushing those issues of the Quad uh, at this platform of G20, mm -hmm. especially with the threat that we are seeing uh, in the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait as well? Right. So uh, in the context of uh, quads, uh, we have been uh, promoting uh, uh, practical cooperation uh, between the four countries consisting of Japan, India, United States, and Australia. And uh, uh, as I mentioned, you know, G7 has been uh, discussing uh, this uh, free and open in the Pacific and also uh, free and open international order based on the rule of law. And this is something that we could be uh, expecting broader support uh, from the international community. And that's something we could work together uh, between Japan and India. Absolutely. Also, uh, to end with Mr. Shikata, uh, India is now trying its best to bridge that gap between the global south and the global north. Uh, do you concur that India has emerged as the leading voice for mm -hmm. global south? Sure. So uh, this is uh, uh, something that we are expecting uh, India to play. Uh, India is playing a much more constructive role uh, in the international affairs. And given a very strong uh, ties uh, between Japan and India, uh, we would be a driving force you know, for promoting uh, peace and prosperity across the, the globe.